unprecedented rescue for the parents of Kate Middleton, pay attention because there's a lot to discuss. On the other hand, a royal expert issues a harsh warning to the Princess of Wales in the midst of her battle against cancer. An article for the Daily Mail by royal commentator Ingrid Stewart has been the trigger for, well, a cautionary warning to Kate Middleton, drawing parallels between the Princess of Wales and her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana, in which, well, she receives, I would say, a little scolding. Seward's comment rather deepens Kate Middleton's battle with the British media over her privacy, a struggle that, as you know, has intensified greatly since she announced her cancer diagnosis. The two situations between Kate Middleton and Princess Diana are compared, and this expert sheds light on the challenges facing royal figures in general to capture public attention while maintaining privacy. But as she points out, the often tense relationship between her late mother-in-law and the media surely must have played a role in the cautious approach of the Welsh when it comes to details of their home and family life, somehow implying that Diana's interactions with the press regarding privacy weren't the best. And then she highlights the similarities between Kate's experience and Princess Diana's. I would even venture to say that the similarities between Kate's experiences and Princess Diana's are not solely at the mercy of public opinion or what the media want. In Diana's case, they were evidently following a manual, and in Middleton's case, I don't think they are. I rather believe that their lives have similarities because they've ended up with men who, from my point of view, were wrong choices. In the case of Prince Charles, well, known to everyone, he was constantly unfaithful to his wife with someone who was his youthful love, Camilla Parker Bowles. And in the case of Prince William, well, the media say he's also being unfaithful with Rose Hanbury. So, well, I don't know what to believe anymore. But what is evident is that the similarities exist, and not precisely in how the media are handling the situation, but rather in the parallel lives of both women regarding their husbands, Despite Diana's initially positive relationship with the media, which in Kate Middleton's case was much more intrusive at the beginning, it is said that the trajectory of their interaction serves as a warning for Kate and other members of the royal family, while Kate continues to navigate the complexities of real life amidst increased media attention. Seward's warning is said to serve as a reminder of the need for vigilance and resilience to safeguard personal boundaries. Well, it's as if they are trying to overprotect Middleton from the media, because they believe if not, she could end up like her own mother-in-law. I think in this regard, Meghan Markle is more at risk than Kate Middleton herself, because Kate Middleton is very protected. But there is more to discuss here. They say Charles Roman III has rescued Kate Middleton's parents from ruin and public shame by doing them a favor that supposedly was requested by his daughter-in-law. In this case, Kate Middleton, the title of Earl, which we've discussed in other informative videos. You know it's not only a noble title that is considered a social elevation, but it's also said that besides receiving much more favorable treatment from the press, which they need at present because all that's being published about them is that they are ruined. They say the support of the royal family would not only provide them with greater emotional support, but also financial support. And here's an important parenthesis, as the explanation deserves it. If the Middletons become earls, they could receive additional financial benefits or access to resources that would otherwise not be available to them. For example, they could access subsidies, grants, and even direct financial assistance from the Crown, which, as you know, is a very important economic asset. And pay attention, because here it starts to be discussed where this request comes from. Apparently, it comes from Kate Middleton. The financial situation of her parents could improve if they obtain a noble title. As a member of the nobility, Prince William's wife would have no limits to economically help her parents because also the prestige associated with the title could open doors in the business world and facilitate the recovery of the company that went bankrupt of party peace or the development of new ventures. 
In this way, it is said that Kate Middleton would have asked her father-in-law, with whom she maintains a very close relationship, to recover or at least grant her parents these honors, and somehow they say that this in any other case would be rejected. But given the family's current position, the scandals surrounding it, and especially Kate Middleton's illness, they say the best way to avoid problems and gain new allies would be to grant the title of Earl to Kate's parents, Carol and Michael. I tell you, multiple benefits for the family. Well, in terms of social protection, financial opportunities, emotional support, and in the end, the British Crown would offer them a path to stability and prosperity in the future, something very similar to what Kate Middleton herself has done with the Crown, since, as you know, without Kate Middleton, the British Crown would be on the brink, waiting for her to recover and resume her institutional duties. All royal experts agree on the same thing, Kate Middleton's figure is an extremely important asset for the institution right now. It's not even considered that her absence could potentially lead to the end of the monarchy. This shows how critical the situation is, because everything that surrounds it adds up, and what we are witnessing is absolute seriousness. For example, it's said that Harry and Meghan are not there, and that this has greatly damaged the monarchy's image. The other members of the royal family are octogenarian members who are even retiring, like the Duke and Duchess of Kent. It's said that the Duke of Edinburgh is going to be the new, well, the new William of the family in his absence. And amidst all this, it's said that the recovery of Kate Middleton is, well, the hope that keeps the British royal family on tenterhooks to recover what they once lost, which is, I would say, all the media attention, which ultimately positions them as an important asset. This is the latest news, I don't know what you think, but it's surprising to say the least that there's already a better financial situation for Kevin Middleton's parents as a result of this noble title. Absolutely surreal, something that had never before been imagined. But given the circumstances of the monarchy, it confirms what is already an open secret. As I always say, Subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos.